Hi and welcome to today's video. You'll be pleased to know I had my pinny back on because we are in the kitchen and today we're cooking onion barges. Now the recipe that I've got for these onion barges was given to me by my lovely Indian friend. Um, it's not a Weight Watchers recipe, it's a different Slimming Club uh, recipe. Um, the reason I wanted to do it, if a Indian person recommends Indian food, it's got to be quite good. So a big shout out to my friend Pindu who gave me this recipe. Now let's go through exactly what's in it. If you're on Weight Watchers this is five points because it's got a sweet potato in. So this is um, grated sweet potato, that's it, okay? And what I'm adding to that is one red onion which has been diced so i'm going to pop that in hopefully without spilling it on the floor i better do it on the surface guys so i'm mixing in the red onion with the sweet potato hi dawn welcome to the live video and then i'm adding into here some Grama Masala, which is basically the masala spice, and about a teaspoon. Okay, that's about a teaspoon of that. Then I've got some ground cumin. So have a little bit of that. A little funny story. I said to my friend, oh, instead of getting all these spices, why don't I just add a bit of curry powder? She said, no, you're a very bad uh, honorary Indian person. <laughs> <laughs> so I apologise. And then I'm adding in some mild chilli powder. Now the actual recipe says then to add an egg. But because I'm doing vegan this month, I'm going to add water instead. I'm just adding a little bit of salt and pepper. This is my pink salt that I'm adding in there. So pink salt and pepper. Now as I said, if you're not vegan, this is where you would add an egg, and that the egg would obviously bind all these ingredients together. What I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of water, and then I'm gonna mix this together. Get a fork, and I'm just going to look, mix all these ingredients together. Now, if you think onion bhaji, it they're normally deep fried, which is obviously a big no-no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing is they normally contain um, a lot of gluten as in they're quite can be quite floury a lot of them or quite potatoey. Um, so you, this is why obviously this is going to be a healthier version. Debbie has left a comment your teaspoon is huge. <laughs> this is true. You know this is a typical chef isn't it? They like just to add a load of it. Um, but yes, that was kind of my teaspoon. So I'm just mixing this together, because obviously what I need to do then is get my hands dirty. I'm gonna ball this up and get it on a tray and then put it in the oven. Now, the bad thing about onion barges, generally the calorific thing is not the barge itself, it's normally the dips. If you think about one of those nice fatty yogurty dip or a nice uh, mango chutney, which again can be full of sugar. So what I would say, when I had my Indian food on the beach on Sunday, for those of you that saw that video, having it with some fresh salad was just really refreshing and they really complemented each other as well. Um, so I would definitely serve it with some nice green salad. Maybe if you like onions, I'd have, I'd have mine with spring onions as well, but if not, then just some nice crisp lettuce or cucumber. Hi Maureen, big waves, where were you today Maureen? Why were you not to Aqua? I can't cope when you and Diana are both not there. <laughs> but I had three guys in my class today, I was really, really happy. Um, one of the other guys was not there, so we nearly made the world record of four males in one Aqua class. I'm quite proud of myself. Okay, so then we have this mixture. Now then, this is the bit where I'm going to get my hands dirty. I've got my baking tray ready and I'm just going to grab a bit of this. Now if there was egg in here, obviously it would stick together a little well. I can hear some horrible noises. I'm squeezing in, it's like squelching. And that look, you see, can you see how it's balled together quite nicely? I'm just going to get my hands dirty 
and just ball that together. Then, what I'm going to do is wash my hands a moment because I want to show it you close up. So excuse me a minute while I just wash my hands. Feel free to chat among yourselves. Oh, Love Island starting, I'll be quick, I promise. So this is how I'm going to pop it in the oven, guys. So I've just balled that up lovely. Um, and of course, I have prepared one earlier. So let's get it out the oven. Uh, Maureen Lawn, oh, lunching. Oh, you're busy lunching. Four men soon, yes. So we're gonna get that, this out the oven. Just bear in mind, I did have a quick peek. Because the egg is not in there, obviously it's not going to be as sealed together as we are hoping. So as you can see, or as you will see in a moment, this is how it's turned out. So the ball texture has gone, but you can see, it's gonna be a little bit hot for me to try, but this is the finished recipe. Mm, and it smells delicious with all those lovely uh, spices in there. Now tomorrow, um, we actually have a Weight Watchers version. So I'm gonna be making tomorrow the Weight Watchers version, which is zero points, zero. So look forward to that, guys. I'm gonna enjoy these and watch Love Island. Bye for now, thanks for watching.